Hello everyone. So we have seen lots of examples related to Murray and Miele machine. Now in this video, we will learn the power of uh, Murray and Miele machine. So Murray and Miele machine are comes under the category of finite automata without. And it is proven that these two machines are equivalent in power. Okay. So if you convert a Murray machine into Miele machine and vice versa, then you will prove that these two different machines are equivalent in power. And in shortly, we will discuss how to convert a Murray machine into Miele machine as well as Miele machine to Murray machine. So let's consider these examples. In this example, can you identify the nature of this particular machine? First of all, this is a Murray machine because every output is associated with the state and this machine is doing number of A's number of A's divided by 3 mod 3 so if you divide any number by 3 there are 3 remainders possible one is 0 the other one is 1 and the last one is 2 so 0 1 2 are the three possible remainders when you divide any binary number uh, with uh, let's say three okay now i want to convert this particular Murray machine into Miele machine so conversion is very simple just follow the procedure what i am doing here first you will draw the three different states which are available in the Murray machine q0 q1 and q2 okay first i will show you the uh, conversion of from transition diagram to transition diagram and then after i will draw the uh, transition table also so q0 q1 and q2 three uh, different states are there now in miller machine what is uh, the output function output function says that every in uh, state is reading some input symbol and then it will produce some output function it will it will produce some output okay so let's say produce output lambda okay now on particular state let's say uh, state q0 if you see a loop loop means the if you reading any input symbol and you will go to the same state then this particular output 0 is associated with the input B also. So whenever there is a loop occur, the uh, output associated with the state is attached to the uh, input alphabet which is present in the loop. So here Q0, Q0 read on, uh, reading on B will produce output 0. Okay, And when you make a transition from one state to other state then the other state output is associated with the input symbol so here q1 output 1 is associated with the input alphabet a so input alphabet a produced output 1 okay and on the loop attach the uh, on the loop uh, attach this output 1 to the input alphabet b so one output is produced now make a transition make a transition on a and what is the output generated the output generated is on q2 is 2 so the output 2 is associated with the input alphabet a now on the loop i will attach the same output to and when you make a transition from q2 to q0 on q2 the output is 2 but on q0 the output is 0 so you make a transition on q2 to q0 it means that here output is associated is 0 okay so on the loop same output is attached to the input alphabet and on the transition the next state output is attached to the input alphabet okay so this is the transition diagram of Miele machine uh, corresponding to this Murray machine now I want to draw the transition table also so in transition table of Moore machine, what are the possible inputs here? A, B and de capital delta is the output. 
so q0 q1 and q2 are the three states okay and the corresponding output produced is 0 1 and 2 now q0 on a small a q0 on a small a will go to q1 and on a small b it will go to the q0 itself now consider the state q1 q1 on a small b small a will go to q2 state and q1 on a small b will go to q2 itself will go to q1 itself okay similarly consider the q2 state q2 state on a small a will go to q0 state and here on a small b it will go to q2 itself okay Now from this transition diagram, I will construct the transition diagram of Miele machine also. So in Miele machine, till now I have not uh, taken any transition table of Miele machine exam uh, example. But let us see here how we can construct the Miele machine transition table. So this is A and this is 0. Now here also the input alphabet is a and B and there are three different states Q0, Q1, Q2 okay. On Q0 if you see input symbol A then you will go to the state Q1 okay and in Miele machine the transition function or I can say the output function is Q cross sigma tends to lambda means every state is associated with some input alphabet every state is associated with some input alphabet so here q1 is associated with 1 because q0 on seeing input symbol a will go to state q1 and produce output 1 similarly on b input alphabet b q0 on seeing input alphabet b will go to q0 itself and produce output 0 understood okay now let's consider q1 state q1 on seeing input alphabet a will go to q2 and produce output 2 q1 on input alphabet b will go to q1 itself and produce output 1 and the last state is q2 q2 on input alphabet a will go to q0 will go to q0 and produce output 0 similarly q2 on input alphabet b will go to q2 itself and produce output 2 so this is the final transition table corresponding to this uh, transition diagram okay so here the machine is doing uh, dividing every num uh, A's with uh, 3. So there are 3 possible uh, remainders 0, 1, 2 and here also we get 3 possible remainders 0, 1, 2. Okay. So remember this point. Whenever you convert a Murray machine into Miele machine, always the number of states is same. So while conver converting from Murray to Miele machine, the number of states is always same. So let's consider, uh, let's say number of state is n in Murray machine. In Murray machine, the number of state is n. Then in Miele machine, the number of state is also n. Okay, this is very important. So this is a simple example related to conversion of Murray machine into Miele machine. In the next video. We will see a, an example of Miele machine to Mure machine conversion.